This commercial plot in Seoul's glitzy Gangnam district is at the centre of South Korea's most controversial business deal for years. It currently houses the National Electricity Company, but Hyundai Motor Group has agreed to pay $10 billion for the land where it plans to build its new headquarters. Hyundai calls this the foundation for future growth, an investment for the next 100 years, according to its chairman. But most investors see the deal very differently. On the day it was announced, the market value of the three Hyundai companies that will fund it fell by a combined $8 billion. E1L recently founded a hedge fund aimed at targeting corporate governance failings at Korean companies and argues that this deal reflects a nonchalant attitude to shareholder value that is all too common in South Korea. I think uh, it is apparent that corporate Korea's uh, uh, governance in terms of shareholder value, uh, which is uh, way below the standard, that's the main reason of Korea discount. Some attribute this approach to South Korea's unique Chebol model, under which nominally independent companies operate as part of a huge coordinated business group, controlled by a founding family that typically holds only a small portion of the total equity. The founding family, uh, whether it is the third generation or fourth generation, they exert almost non-challengeable power within the group. So, you know, they can decide whatever they want and if they, they can, it would never be challenged within the group. And the other problem is these Cheber not only exerts the power within the organization, but it now starts exerting some power to the society every corner of our country. Others point out that this management structure has some positive aspects enabling fast, aggressive decision-making and tending to favor a focus on long-term growth. Uh, 내가 주인이다 기업의 주인이다라는 책임 의식을 가지고 했었 사업을 했었기 때문에 보다 더 책임 있는 경영을 할수 있었던 거고 보다 더 어떻게 보면 용감하게. But while the Chabol have been central to South Korea's economic success, some argue that their power in the country is too great and not always exercised responsibly. Protests against Chabol companies are a common sight in Seoul often held by the contract workers on whom the groups heavily rely, many of whom feel they do not receive the treatment they deserve. LG U Plus will be able to see J3 side of the big companies. These big companies have huge assets. But we want to pay the salary of the people who are paying the salary. But that small amount of money is not allowed to pay. It's very difficult. As lawmakers respond to concerns about the excessive power of the Chebol and try to create a better playing field for smaller companies, the Chebol are under pressure to prove that they can meet this country's needs in the 21st century. The Korean economy will suffer lack of dynamism if the Chebol will continue to run as they are. Chebol has been dominating all the resources from Korea. And then if they don't share the profit, economic success, that they have achieved with the society, the consequence is very simple, lack of dynamism. Simon Mundy, Financial Times, Seoul.